Hi, everybody. Welcome to Trial Alchemy. And I'm delighted today to have as my guest, Ken Siegelman. Ken is the founder of Kenneth M. Siegelman and Associates in San Diego. He's been practicing law with that firm, his firm, own firm, since 1980. And Ken has been somebody who's been very active uh, as a trial lawyer. He's, he's an amazing guy who tries case after case, year after year, and gets outstanding results. He's been the trial lawyer of the year uh, for the Consumer Attorneys of San Diego two years in 2009 and 2018. He's had numerous years where he's won an outstanding trial lawyer award for individual case verdicts for the Consumer Attorneys of San Diego. He's been involved in many legal organizations over his career. He was the president of the Consumer Attorneys of San Diego in 2008. And he's a member of the American Board of Trial Advocates of BOTA. And Ken served as the president of the San Diego chapter in 2012. Ken is somebody who really knows his medicine. He got his law training first, and then he went to medical school. And so he's really been somebody specializing in medical malpractice throughout his career. So without any further ado, Ken, welcome to Trial Alchemy, and thank you so much for being a guest today. Thanks, Mati. It's great to be with you. I know you've tried many cases before COVID, but you've also tried cases since we've kind of come out of COVID. And what I want to ask at this point, Ken, is in your experience with the jury trials you've had since we've gone out of COVID, do you think the juries are acting differently than they were before COVID? And tell us how and tell us why you think that might be if they are different. I think that all civil trial lawyers have been surprised by uh, that there are definitely noticeable differences in uh, jury behavior and verdict after the pandemic compared with before. I think they have tended to skew more favorably for the plaintiff than before. And where this is particularly surprising is in the area of medical negligence cases, because I remember during the first few months of the pandemic, uh, when the hospitals were completely inundated and the uh, nurses and the physicians and all of the uh, hospital staff were heroic in trying to uh, treat all of the COVID patients under conditions where their own lives were threatened on a daily basis because there was no vaccine. And so all of the plaintiffs were thinking, boy, trying medical negligence cases for a decade when COVID is over is going to be difficult. But that could turn out to be the case. Um, I think uh, liability uh, has been found more often uh, in favor of the plaintiff in medical negligence cases post-COVID than pre, and uh, average verdicts have been higher. I think because everybody was touched in one way or another by someone pretty close to them, either getting really sick from COVID or dying, that people suffered. And even people who weren't touched quite in that way, many people were very isolated because of COVID, um, more even in a more immediate way, younger people. But you get to a certain stage of life and you have lost close to you. And you know that's part of what comes with living. But now you had 20 somethings and 30 somethings who to an unprecedented degree were experiencing loss and suffering uh, and mental health issues from isolation um, that they had never experienced before and that were rarely experienced in those demographics. So I think you had a broader uh, spectrum of the jury who understood what loss and harm was about. And that's why uh, we've seen changes in jury behavior since COVID. Well, thank you for sharing that. 